So there is a really rich history all over the world of um, toy making in the, the modern period. And one of the toys that I'm particularly interested in are these stacking Rudolf Steiner toys because they, uh, they speak about ideas of open-ended learning, that it's a puzzle in a way with an infinite pos number of possibilities. But it does have a kind of restriction. So it, it's a system, it's a closed system, but you can approach it in all these different ways, in a multitude of ways. So in that way, I think it's a really interesting toy. And it speaks to what contemporary art is, something that's open-ended play, but it also speaks to all these kind of different um, forms that you find in, in that Steiner pedagogy or alternative education. So dance, movement, chalkboard drawings, there's all these wonderful uh, things that they use. Also interested in the idea of scale in terms of childhood. So when you're a kid, you see the things you play with as being really enormous. Um, and then when you look back on them, when you see them as an adult, they're actually really tiny and you're surprised by that. The Steiner Rainbow is based on Goethe's colour theory, which Steiner, Steiner was a translator of Goethe and, um, and he was very influenced by his systems of colour, which were more um, essentialist, uh, more kind of, more in the light of magical thinking rather than um, Newtonian colour theory, which is kind of been proved to be more scientifically uh, correct. Um, but yeah, he had a really interesting approach to colour and was interested in the quality of it. And so the, the rainbow follows Goethe's colour wheel through, through the different um, shades and hues.